Hi, this is John from Chicago. Welcome to my channel. Uh, two weeks ago I had a, put out a video on uh, four ultralight um, FPV racing racers that I was looking at building for 5 inch. Uh, one of those is right here. It's the uh, uh, Floss from Hyperlight and uh, I was going to build that and that was going to be it for the racing season. Uh, then I happened to see uh, ad for a uh, King Kong 200 GT. Uh, it was a new quadcopter coming out. It has um, smaller motors on it, uh, 1806 motors by 2500 kV, and it's going to sell for about $150. And it should be a great quad. Thing is, I wanted something faster, and I thought about that, uh, that they should just take a like a 130 quad and scale it up so it uh, would work as a 5-inch quad. Go from 3-inch propellers to 5-inch propellers and it would be a pretty nice frame and everything. Um, so I called uh, one of the reps or um, one of the suppliers over in China and uh, asked them about that and uh, they said, well, let's see what they could find, and they came out uh, with a whole slew of these ultralight ones, um, which I bought the uh, 5X or the uh, iFlight from them, but then I saw that they had this, um, you could just buy the frame for the King Kong 200 GT. This was a $30 frame, it was $3 shipping, and I got it in a week from China, which was quite good for shipping. Uh, the frame itself, um, the base plate weighs um, just under 40 grams and it's supposed to weigh 55 and a half grams. I'll weigh it once I put everything together, but it'll have the same look as all the other King Kong uh, flying eggs um, when you put these aluminum uh, uh, tops on. And it'll hold the camera. They're at a 20 millimeter spacing, so it should work good uh, with your micro camera. It'll just fit right in there. Uh, use, it has a 20 by 20 stack, so I was going to take what the ESC um, flight control stack that I had for the floss and move that over to here. Uh, it was a 28 amp ESC and a uh, F4 flight control controller, and that should be coming in the next couple days, and I'll use that. I also had a 20 um, millimeter format, um, they'll fit right on the stack, uh, VTX. It could be uh, changeable um, in beta flight for changing channels and power. Um, the other thing I bought for this was the Micro Aero, or the uh, Foxeer Aero Micro Pro. It's a new camera that just came out a couple weeks ago, and it's $20, so I bought one of those. I can compare it against the Predator, which was a $36 camera, so I'd like to see what the differences are. Uh, my guess is the $20 camera will just be a little worse than this, but uh, for that savings it might be worthwhile. They both weigh about five grams. But um, the kit itself, frame kit, came with uh, two sets of propellers. They give you a, a little foam pad for your battery, a uh, rubber band to hold your battery in place, although 4S battery, I don't know if those rubber bands are going to work. I'll probably need a battery strap, but they give you the uh, notch out for that. Um, give you a number of screws. Um, to put this together. Now, oh, yeah, size-wise, it's 136 millimeter from motor to motor, uh, front to back and side to side, so it's a true X. It's 194 on the diagonal, so by using the smaller stack in here, they could get by with a smaller frame for 5-inch prop, uh, which helps with the weight again. Anything that you could do to reduce it, you're going to have a lighter build and stronger. Um, these arms, the uh, thickness of the bottom plate is 4 millimeters, and the width of the arms are 12 millimeters. Uh, the floss, I think, had an 8 inch or 8 millimeter width. So these are a little bit wider, although it's you can't replace them because it's a one part frame, but uh, that keeps the weight down, I think, and by having it wider, it should be okay. I'm going to use the motors that I had for the floss. Like I said, these are the Hyperlite. 2205 by 2522 kV motors. These weigh 27 grams a piece, and when you cut off some wire, it'll probably end up being 25 grams a piece. So you're probably looking at 100 grams for uh, motors on here. I'm 
trying to keep this build um, about 230 grams is what I'm shooting for. Uh, dry weight, maybe it'll be a little bit more. But uh, let me screw in, uh, put the frame all together, and then we could weigh it and see what the thing weighs. Okay, I finished assembling the frame and it weighs 53.9 grams. That's my latest frame for a 5 inch racer so far. I finished up the build of what I have um, and the dry weight right now is uh, about 206 grams. There's 6 grams of extra motor wire that's going to come off of there so it's sitting right at 200 grams. What I'm missing is the VTX which is 6 grams, the ESC slash flight control board, that little stack is uh, 8 grams and then a uh, battery cable which is probably 8 grams so we're going to, I'm going to be adding 22 grams to this so the Total dry weight should be around 222 grams, which is excellent. Um, I did run into one little snag. Uh, putting the motors on is the um, uh, bolt circle was drilled for 2M bolts versus the 3M bolts that are used on the um, uh, 2205 motors, and I think the bolt circle is a little larger too, so I had to modify that with a drill and that took about uh, an extra hour uh, putting this together but every otherwise everything went together quite good and I'm quite happy with this um, and I can't wait to get my uh, remaining parts in so I could get this finished up and uh, do a little test flight if you have any questions please leave those below and thanks for watching